1474 Buckridge. This is a big old house. It's actually kind of a unique looking house. Um, here's the street. This is in South Natomas. These are mostly uh, comp and uh, stucco and a mix. There's a school. Northgate Park right behind it. So, uh, how old is this thing? 2,400 feet practically. 1979. So we have a 30 year old home here. Um, and that's Cedar Shingle. I put in some money just for general um, general um, termite on the outside. Uh, there is an area here that needs to be patched. Behind the brick there's a hole directly into the house so we need some stucco on this side. Um, nice courtyard. This is right outside the front door. I got 500 in to put that gate back together or rebuild it. That might be maybe not enough. Front doors. Um, you paint them. Get dramatic. There's a garage I can't see. Carpet is totally trashed. Here's the hole from the outside. You can see the brick that's stacked up there, but you know, some stucco and insulation and drywall. Get that back to new. It looks like they originally came in on this side with this gas thing. I don't know why they moved it. The windows have been, there's three different kinds of windows in the house. The original are single pane silver aluminum. I've got new vinyl ones out here. These need some work on the outside because the guy cut them in and I'm not seeing um, proper weather stripping. So when I see this right here, you know, we're going to have to cut that back and uh, put some flashing or check the flashing on it. I don't think it was done right. I think I got the same thing behind these. Here's the backyard. Pretty charming, got a spa, some big redwoods. Um, this trellis is connected to the house, but this trellis looks like it's in excellent condition. So worst case, you disconnect it and you put it up on posts. This planter was raised, but it was disconnected from the house, so that's good. Um, I haven't been inside the little shack. It looks good enough to leave. Um, looks like they spent some money on landscaping here. This is the side yard compressor. I forgot they had homes 30 years old over here. Looks like they may have repaired some dry rot here in the past because this, these panels back here are really clean. There's a little bit of fix up there on the corner. Great Japanese maple here. This is a big game room over the garage. But we just have some stucco to fix up. The kitchen floor, you know, they're in the middle of something here. So this all needs to be finished up. The, ca the cabinets, the appliances, they're just trash. Um, laundry room. Got a half bath down. We need a new setup here. And um, used a few new things. The laundry is pretty pathetic. Needs to be cleaned up. This house is way overpriced at what it is right now. So, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think it's just got to be rehabbed. There are four bedrooms up. There's this one with double doors, without double doors, double door entry, big closet. There's the blue room, closet. There's the green room with a hole to the master in it. There is the upstairs bath, fiberglass enclosure that's not finished. So the enclosure could be, that's been redone. You can see around the edges, somebody slipped it in and then they made it work. And you put a piece of glass on there, redo the rest of the bathroom, and it may be fine. The master, dark. Um, mostly get some light in here and some lighter color on the wall. And it could work. Master closet. Change out the fixture and update this thing a thousand years. 
We're missing drywall, but it looked pretty dry back there. I think this cabinet just needs to go. You could even go dual sinks if you wanted. Uh, and then there is, this room doesn't have a light in it, right? Or the light that works. Again, same thing. Shower enclosure's been replaced. It is okay. The glass is a little grimy. And you start fixing things up in there and it might work for you. Um, it's a project.